Hello, my name is Neil Cameron. This is my Business Research Methods module presentation. My research proposal is examining consumer aspirations, attitudes and perceptions of individuals to the study of business and English courses in Italy. Purpose and rationale of research. The research that will be carried out will give detailed insight into the process of a contemporary and international business context which will aim to develop an understanding of the most important issues facing prospects choosing education courses in the 21st century with respect to changes in consumer behaviour. The rationale is to determine the possible reasons on why Italian consumers behave the way they do with regards to perceptions and attitudes towards education. This proposed subject area of research will focus on the core elements of consumer behaviour, organisational behaviour and global marketing. Sigmund Freud, even Pavlov and B.F. Skinner will also be looked at in detail with reference to social, cultural, anthropological concepts in order to establish a thorough understanding of the will of consumer analysis in Italy for the effect, cognition and the perception process towards business and English courses. A key consumer behaviour debate is how exactly do consumer attitudes affect the purchasing decision of a product or service and is it a reliable way of predicting future behaviour? Research philosophy and research approach. With regards to the research philosophy, the ideology of positivism will be the prominent concept followed to carry out analysis of the research. This has been decided in order to try and evaluate conclusions due to the fact the subject matter is quite linked to methodological debates concerning clarity, replicability and the reliability and validity. The approach taken will be a questionnaire survey due to the fact it is number one very popular in business research today. Number two, it's perceived as quite authoritative. Number three, it allows collection of qualitative data. Number four, data can be analysed quantitatively. Number five, samples need to be representative. And number six, it gives the researcher independence. Now, with regards to research strategy. The research will be carried out in the Italian city of Rimini. Now, Rimini is one of Italy's most major cultural and touristic centres in the country. The survey will be designed with a structured and at the same time balanced combination of qualitative and quantitative questions in order to build on a diverse series of English and business education topics. Now, an analysis will be attempted to examine if there are any early average demographic variables that can be linked to later opinions, expectations, attitudes, preferences and decision making factors. Based on this quantitative scaled survey of questions, Results will then be collated to see what um, and if any popular answers are formed from the respondents. For the detailed qualitative answers, these will be compared with each other in order to identify any similar generic opinions for the question factors. The specific sector of the market that will be interviewed for the surveys carried out 
will be consumers aged 18 years and more. These consumers are more than likely to have much deeper, educated opinions and also much stronger decision-making powers. This is probably linked to the fact that they may come from working backgrounds and will you know, possibly have um, you know, much more disposable incomes in order to make key purchasing decisions. Research methods. In order to cement the relationship between the research aim, research questions, research objectives and research methods, a number of core factors and conditions will be carried out in order to interlink them. To understand the modern day influences, consumer attitudes, reaction to stimulus and motivations of Italians towards the study of business and English courses, particular topics will be explored and these are the following. So, the first one is the consumer demographic and the profile. Number two, the level of education achieved. Number three, career ambitions. Number four, relocation desires to maybe go to a different country like the UK, Australia, America for example. Number five, English ability. Number six, expectations, factors, preferences to study an English course. Number seven, region quality opinions. And the final one at number eight is the actual criteria in the decision making process to choose a particular school. Now, with regards to focusing on the relationship between the research questions and objectives, a careful blend of scale based questions will be used to form quantitative um, results for trend analysis while at the same time open-ended questions um, for opinionated answers will be asked to form um, a scope of qualitative conclusions and previously uh, it will be numerical and quantitative based. Expected research outcomes. The research aim is to basically and conceptually understand the modern day influences, consumer attitudes, reaction to stimulus and motivations in the framework of consumer psychology towards the motivation of studying business and English courses after high school in Europe in a country such as Italy. The research question is how and why individuals' consumer aspirations, attitudes um, kind of are uh, and their perceptions towards the study of business and English courses in European countries such as Italy and how exactly do they differ to other countries in Europe such as the UK. A number of objectives for this research project are as follows. Number one. Identify if there are any correlation um, in terms of similarities or differences between the answers given by consumers on the survey questionnaires. The second one is to analyse the opportunity to predict future patterns and trends based on the information provided by consumers for the research questionnaires. The third and final one is to collate numerical statistics and do a observational evaluation on the feedback of the completed questionnaires in order to create a solid consumer profile. Now, research limitations. A key consumer behaviour debate is how exactly do consumers' attitudes affect the purchasing decision of a product or service and is it a reliable way of predicting future behaviour? Along with this, there is a paradox of attitudes existing uh, to serve a person's function determined by motives that come from Daniel Katz, for example, against the argument of attitudes not being able to fit into a particular and broader framework of beliefs. 
Also, based on existing academic literature, there are a number, um, or there does not seem to be, many major and proven tracking studies in order to successfully track attitudes over a period of time from a consumer behaviour point of view. In order to see if trends and patterns can be identified, it could be said that it will be quite difficult to predict behaviour. Uh, this is according to Solomon, um, who state that in many cases, knowledge of a person's attitudes is not a very good predictor of future behaviour. As many studies have obtained, um, that there, there's you know, really a very low correlation between a person's reported attitude and their actual behaviour towards a product or service. I hope you've enjoyed um, the presentation today. My references um, for the presentation relate to Foddy, Solomon, um, Saunders and also um, Alcatrexer. So um, thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you.